Matter is made up of particles. Take 300 ml beakers and mark A, B and C. Add 50 ml of water in each beaker and mark the water levels. Dissolve 2 gram Five gram, and eight gram of sugar in the beakers, and dissolve it with the help of a glass rod. Observe the change in water level and note the observation. You will observe that water level does not change even after the sugar has completely dissolved into the water. This indicates that the sugar particles get into the spaces between the particles of water. We can also infer that the sugar particles are very small. In fact, these are so small that these can fit between the particles of water. This activity also indicates that particles of matter have space between them. Diffusion Let us observe what happens when we lit an incense stick in the room. Take an unlit incense stick in a room. When we light the incense stick, its particles mix with the particles of air around it and spread out. The intermixing of particles of two substances on their own is called diffusion. Due to the spreading of particles, the smell of the incense stick spreads in the entire room. So, we get the smell of the incense stick even when we are sitting at a distance from it. Attraction between the particles of matter Take a piece of chalk, a rubber band and an iron nail. Here you can see the arrangement of atoms in each of the substances. Try to break the piece of chalk with your hand. Particles of a chalk piece are held together by a weak force of attraction so it can break easily. Try to stretch the rubber band. Particles of a rubber band have more spaces between them so it can be stretched easily. Try to break the iron nail with a hammer. You will observe that the nail bends but does not break. We may infer that the forces of attraction between the iron particles are very strong. Thus, we may say that the particles of matter attract each other and the power of attraction varies from one type of matter to the other.